Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. I'm glad to be back. We're going to get into a, a good one today. Prospect, a young fighter. I, I really like him, Chef Clark. He's taking on a decent opponent in El Zorro. Uh, a guy I like a lot in, in Zorro. He's, he's, he's not at... We'll get into it. Before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, join the Patreon. The link is in the description. Just $5 a month. Get you all the perks you want. Get you lock of the week. Lock of the week. We hit it all the time. Uh, show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Lock, lock of the week is typically a three-play parlay uh, that we make money on. Lock it up. We should have that out later today as well. I'm going to have the lock of the week for this week. Just wanted to get into a few things. Also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Chef Clark, I, I think, is one of the better prospects in boxing. He's a cruiserweight, so he kind of is goes under the radar because, especially in America, unless there's a special talent like Usyk or, or Holyfield, cruiserweights typically go under the radar. They don't get a lot of attention. I don't know how he's viewed in the UK, but this is a prospect, a cruiserweight prospect that I really, really like. Hard, stiff jab, swarming pressure fighter, uses his jab well to get on the inside, constantly coming forward behind that jab, real power, goes to the body well. He's exactly what you want in a hard-hitting pressure fighter. A lot of times, pressure fighters are more volume guys. They don't hit with a ton of power. He has good volume and good power. He is 33, so I want him to be moved quickly. But he's got good hand speed, good combinations. He's pretty sharp. He's got good – he's sharp and, and, and flexible on the outside. He's got good mobility. He's a pretty good athlete. It's so much I like about this guy. He's good angles on the inside. He works well on the inside. He fights his way out of breaks well. He's got accuracy, clean from the outside. He doesn't that's not really who he is, but he can fight a little bit. He can box a little bit on the outside. Marshes forward. That's what he is. He's strong as hell. He can slip and avoid shots well to get on the inside. So he can get on the inside. He can box from the outside. He can jab, and he can slip his way into the inside where he really does his damage. They call him C floor. This guy, he's only 5'11. So I don't think he's going to make it as a heavyweight, but he can have a nice little career here as a cruiserweight. Throws nice, crisp, clean shots from the outside. Good combinations, good volume, good body puncher, good athlete, good hand speed, combinations, volume. He's a good fighter. Good, you know, like in basketball, they say two-way player, an offensive and defensive guy. He's a good two-way fighter. Works behind that good jab. This is a prospect that you definitely want to keep your eye on. And this is relatively a, a step-up fight. Ella Zorro, straight up and down, boxer puncher, nice jab, decent attack, right? But he can be marched, he can be marched backwards. He can be walked down. He doesn't really know who he is. He doesn't really have an identity as a fighter. He's not a bad fighter. He's a pretty good fighter. I just like something's missing with him. He doesn't impose himself. He doesn't have the ring IQ yet. He doesn't have the know-how. Decent hand speed, decent combination puncher. He's really good. He's just a level below Clark. And I don't mean that to disparage him. He's a good fighter. He can beat a lot of guys. But I, I think Clark is a really, really high-note guy. I think Clark's really, really good. I think Clark's going to steamroll him. But he's a pretty uh, – Zorro's a pretty fluid athlete. But he's just too well in the back pedal. He, he can move and, and stuff, and he can use the ring. He's an athlete. He's he's, he's strong, but he doesn't. I, I don't think he knows. Who he, I don't think he's figured out who he is as a fighter. This is a guy that should be a power boxer. You know, jab, come forward, throw the right hand. He's got some mobility. You know, think of like in, in the mold, in the mold stylistically, like Charlo. I'm not comparing him to a Charlo. I'm just saying that style doesn't really have his identity. Pretty basic guy. So I mean, he's not a troll because, like I said, he's basic. But he's strong. He can hit. He's an athlete. He's fundamentally, he's got some skills. He just hasn't put it all together yet. And he's not going to, he's a rhythm guy. He fights in, in, in a good rhythm. He gets there and he can be sharp and he can counter well and he can, he can lead. He can throw ones and twos. He can mix in the three. He's a good fighter, but there's levels to this. 
and, and Chef Clark, I think, is at the highest of world class levels. I really think pound for pound, he's one of the better prospects in the sport. So I'm really high on Chef Clark. I think Chef Clark should stop him. But this is a good step up. You know, Zorro got stopped in, in a minute and a half or whatever it was with Jaya Pattaya. So I don't think it's going to be around a minute and a half. But I I, I definitely think Chef Clark is going to stop him. He's definitely going to win. Let's take a look at the odds. I haven't even looked at this yet. Uh, I thought it was minus 1,100, but I haven't, I think, it was the last I saw. Let's take a look. Let me get this pulled up for y'all. I'm just looking it over right now. Yeah, he's still on minus 1,100. All right. Let me get this pulled up for y'all. All right, this is the bet I'm going to make. Chef Clark on the money line. You can make this a two times bet. Uh, make it a one times bet. Make it a two times bet. How much do you make an 18? One, one and a half. One and a half times bet is going to make you $13 uh, 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 on that. Then also, uh, minus 390. I'm sorry, minus 390. Chef Clark by KOTK. So by stoppage, is minus 390. I like it a lot. Minus 100. I'm sorry, uh, minus 390. 100 all bet, one times bet, that would make you about $26. So it's 26 and 13. It's going to make you about 40 bucks out of 250 all bet. These odds are terrible, man. I, I agree with him. Like, he's going to stop them and he's going to beat them. You, this is not a ton of money to make on this fight. It's not a bad fight to parlay with something else because he's going to win. And I imagine he's going to win by stoppage. It's just as a standalone, it's really not a great fight to make money on so i mean th that's what we're doing here let's take a look at it again it's just i'm looking at this even though i get him by stoppage he's minus 390 to get him by stoppage it's just not great odds on this one so take him on the money line one and a half take him by stoppage on a one times bet 250 would make you 26 and it's gonna make you 40 bucks guys i'm sorry that's the best i got for you you know, I'm actually not sorry. That's how they made the odds. If you want to make money on it, that's how you're making money on it. Let me know what you guys think. Now, but this is a, a decent fight to add to a poll. So let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, Mini Boxing Blogger, all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you every single major fight. Show you how to consistently make money and bring down the house betting on the sport of boxing. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in that banner below. Just five dollars a month gets you the lock of the week. It gets you. Ask the bookie anything. Ask me to make a fight. Handicap a fight. I will do it for you. Uh, get you a free t-shirt. There's a ton of perks involved. Let me know. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. It is, what day is it? May 23rd, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet post. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.